Hey, good morning to you again. Jesus is still Lord. The devil is still defeated. Yes. Thank God the, the word, word works. works. Seed, time, and harvest. You know, there's a story. Of course, it's a true story happening in Jesus' ministry where the people had traveled out for days and were hungry, and Jesus was concerned about them. He said, what are we going to do? We can't send them away hungry. And so he asked the disciples a question, but now it does say that he asked them because he already knew what he was going to do, mm -hmm. but he wanted to know what they were going to do. Uh, he says, uh, they're hungry. We can't send them away hungry. And they said, Lord, uh, what are we going to do? Even if we bought 20, you know, penny worth or thousands of dollars worth of McDonald's and French fries wouldn't be enough because there's 20,000 people out there. The Bible tells you 5,000 men plus the women plus the children. So there's nothing that they can do. They need a miracle. I got to do it this way. Maybe you're in a situation where, dear God, I have got to have a miracle. I'm, I don't see no way out of this thing. I've got to have a big miracle. So Jesus says, what do you have? Well, you know the story. Had a little boy that had lunch. Now, somebody said one time, well, it was a whale. <laughs> Not stupid. It's a little boy's lunch. A couple of fishes, a couple of loaves. He said, well, take that, make the people sit down, divided it. Then he reached inside himself and took that up toward heaven and blessed it and multiplied it and began to break it, and they fed 20,000 people. And I love this phrase. It says, until they were all full, filled. Yeah, filled. And you know, we've, we've got teenagers, had teenagers in our families. Them boys could eat when they were at home. Mm -hmm. and, and so you would fix about five pounds of potatoes, and they'd all be gone. It takes more to feed one than it does another, but none of them was with a lack. None of them was left out. And here's the thing about seed, time, and harvest. They took up the fragments, the leftovers, had 12 baskets full, and what did Jesus do with it? You can tell that, Pat. Well, he gave it back to the little boy. So the boy got an instant harvest, harvest. of 12 baskets full of food off of that little lunch of two fishes and two loaves that he sent out. So when you sow a seed, and I'm talking about your situation may be totally impossible. 20,000 people to feed. But that little seed, tiny seed compared to the need was enough. And then God multiplied the seed back to the boy. Preach on. The same day. The and same day. notice he got 12 more baskets as well. I forgot that. <laughs> yeah. He didn't only get the 12. He didn't only get the food. He got, got 12 basket baskets to carry the food because home Because he with. sowed the basket and the... And the food. And the food. So, so he yes. got exactly what he sowed. Yes. He got you know, uh, probably a hundred times more than what he sowed. And he got it the same day. I want you to say that with me. He got it the same, same day. day. So you need a miracle today. You don't need it next year. You need it today. So you decide what you want. You sow the seed, expecting God to multiply the seed mm -hmm. right Dude, now yes. when you need it, because God is a miracle working God. Yes, he is. Praise God. And it, he gave us the word on it and he is true to his word he is faithful that promise amen and it's a wonderful way to live yes it is you know i mean uh, i get up every day and every day i think okay what do i need today where can i sow a seed i'm always looking for places to sow seed all kinds of places helping people i love it when we go to the store it's been a week or two since we've done this and be behind some person in the shopping line and you can watch them as they're counting out their nickels and their dimes and their quarters. And we've done it so many times, Pat, and I'm just teared up thinking about it. Uh -huh. And you watch that little lady in front of me. Well, she pulls out the bread and puts it over here, or she pulls out something else because she doesn't have enough for everything. And I just look at the person behind the counter and say, uh, we'll take care of it. Right. You know, and that's a place to sow a seed. Watch this. Excuse me, it just makes me tear up to think about it. I'm thinking about that time that we went and there was a girl trying to put some stuff on layaway mm -hmm. for her children for Christmas. And I knew her. I knew where she worked. She didn't come to the church, but I knew her. And she was saying, can I put this on layaway for my children for Christmas? And you and I said, no, you can't do that. And we just paid the whole thing. Yeah. And she turned and looked at us like, wow, why did you do that? Well, I'm going to tell you why I did it. We were believing God for Christmas. <laughs> Right. We were believing that we could buy stuff for our family for Christmas. And hey, we had a great Christmas that year because it was a place to sow a seed. Yes. Seed time and harvest. It's a way of life. God said you're going to have it, whether it's good or bad, so make it good. Make it good and believe for the harvest. Believe as you sow the seed. The, the faith is the thing that causes the seed 
to spring and grow because this is a realm of the spirit so um, I had a thought along that line you well anyway so you mix faith with mark 10 29 and 30 you mix faith with Galatians 6 and you believe and receive and start confessing oh this was the thought I had a lot of people kill their crop by saying you know nobody ever gives me anything you just killed your crop you've got to speak words of life over that seed speak words of this is what the word says God promised me whatever I sow that shall I also reap God promised me a hundredfold second Corinthians 9 I believe it's 9 it says now he that gives seed to the sower both gives bread for your food and multiplies your seed sown and increases the fruit of your righteousness speak those words over those good seeds and yes it is retroactive all of you that have sown seeds for years that have tithed for years and you've not seen the return you get those promises out you start speaking those words that don't that harvest is ready for you to just call it in but you use the word you mix faith with the word of god and god will perform his word so until we're with you tomorrow hey it's a great day it's a great time to be alive seed time and harvest is working so you remember hey jesus, jesus is, is lord, lord. Thank, thank god, god the, the word, word works, works.